Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one Noli, and welcome back. Welcome to part two of Pokemon MO 3D. Yeah, you guys got to the five likes, and I was just like, all right, dude, fine, I'll make, I'll make a part two. Don't tip me. But I found this sign that literally just tells you where you are inside the game. But I feel like there's a lot more buildings than what I'm actually looking at. There's four buildings, well, those three buildings on this map. But there are a lot more buildings over here that are accessible, which was weird to me. And also, only sad part is when you use fly for the flying button, I don't think you can carry your trainer. So you, so literally, if I was to fly, hello? Can I help you, sir? Can you not? Like, dude, step off. I'm just over here trying to get my intro in and everything. You're over here bullying me. Oh, you're level. Oh, God, he's gonna kill me. Actually, I wanna see the death animation. X, psych, I'm out. Bye, buddy. I'm out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm transcending. Yeah, dude, see? You thought you can get me? I'm out of here. Yeah, you thought that was a cat tackle. But yeah, when you use a fly button, and you land somewhere else, your character doesn't go there. So yeah, you have to actually use, well, you actually have to walk to your destination. And I think they respawned me back at the, at the lab, honestly. I don't remember going back to the lab. Yeah, I just wanted to show a little bit of those neat things that I found. I guess if you have the actual fly, it will fly you to a location, maybe. But first things first, we gotta figure out like all the badges and stuff like that. Grinding and stuff. So I will see you guys at the other town we had stopped in. Alright, we're back at our normal city. Also, something I realized about the Pokedex is that they also give your moves that you earn and what level you earn them. What level the Pokemon evolves and what he evolves into. Kind of spoiler for anybody who hasn't played Pokemon and want to try out this for the first time. But yeah. <laughs> it doesn't give the location of where they spawn though. Well actually, I think I may have found it. Oh wow, this is gonna be a weird map. Oh. Uh, hold up. Does the ads work this time? Nope, the ads still don't work, so I still don't get my coins. Feels bad, mate. All I want is coins, but yet I can't have that luxury. So, hold on, let me go heal this Pokemon that I totally forgot. Is it Poliwag? I've been trying to figure out. Yeah, Poliwag. Like I said, I haven't played Pokemon in years. Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't at me. Wait, what? Okay, fine. I'll just heal it myself then. Jeez, what lazy nurses they have this time of day. I want to. I'm not gonna lie. I missed the whole classic coming here to trade Pokemon. That, that would actually be interesting for something for them to like implement into the game. From like the old Pokemon shows how they used to trade. It would like go from one tube to the other. It would basically just link your trading together. Oh, so the store is empty. I, I don't think I realized that the first time we did this. <laughs> okay, so where is the gym again? Oh yeah, it's the big gym on the map. I think they're going to have to make the roads a little bit more visible on map. That's for sure. Because trying to find the routes for every last place is kind of really tedious. So, okay. So there's no gym leaders in the game. I guess it's just player versus player. So you don't really earn gym badges. For what I know. Oh, no, you do earn gym badges. Weird. Okay, how do you earn the gym badges? They're gonna have to at least tell us that. 
Maybe I'll look up a video later just trying to find it. Actually, I'm going to look that up now just to figure out how gym badges work. Okay, so gym battles aren't like an actual thing yet. They're just basically a placeholder for um, PvP battles. Okay, interesting. So they said they're going to make them, but right now it's just a placeholder. Okay, noted. I need to go on like a training. I need to find the next road. Is this the next road or is this the road I've been on? We're going to keep moving on to the other routes and see if we can find any new Pokemon. If we can, we're just going to start battling, grinding, stuff like that. I've seen somebody just running back and forth, killing other Pokemon. <laughs> I was about to say, I need to do that. But I need to find like a good pile of... For now, it's just a normal route thing where there's just the same Pokemon that's going to be popping up over and over. It seems like a whole bunch of Pidgeys are going to be popping up. Yeah, yeah, this is a new route I have not been to yet. So there are caves for legendaries, or locations for legendaries in the game. From what people have been talking about in chat. Somebody was looking for an Articuno, and I'm sitting here like, okay, that's pretty dope. They already have legendaries in the game, and they already have their locations and stuff. But I need to find, like, a fly and stuff. I can't wait to get, like, a little bit deeper into this game and figure out, like, all the locations of the legendaries. You know, go on grind fest, meet some of you guys, and just chill. And just go with the game as it progresses. Let's say every five likes, I will make another episode. And we'll keep it going from there. So, if the video gets five likes again, I'll, uh, make another video. Hey, dude, look at him interact. <laughs> I, got, I got you, bro. Yeah, I need to level you up, just in case you do kill him. Oh, did you try to poison sting me, douche? Ah! Oh, well, okay, he's level 9, hello? Okay, this game is a, wet, a lot harder than I thought it would be. This motherfucker's level 9, hello? Oh, yeah, he is... He's gonna one-shot everything. <laughs> I want him! <laughs> oh, I gotta do that. Hold up. I wonder, can I just throw a Pokeball at him and catch him? Hold on. I'm gonna wait until he stops. Capture a seat. Okay, okay I'll remember that. Come on, stop again. Stop again. Stop. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Really? Okay, I wish recall would work. Oh. You can't catch it. Okay, so you do have to fade him. Okay. Noted, 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 noted. We need to go back to the other region and go on a grind fest because that that was embarrassing. We got killed by a wild Pokemon in just the normal region. Not even like two steps and level nines are spawning. Jesus Christ, man. He just pfft, apparently Freaking poison thing is OP as hell. Alright, boys. The training begins. Okay, this Pidgey has killed the rest of my Pokemon. So I'm just bubbling him to death. Because apparently bubbles can hit flying types. You don't have to jump with just this. Tackle's hitbox works really weird with flying types. Ha! Sucker! Suck it. <laughs> All right, you're you're my best Pokemon now. Jeez, <laughs> he knew freaking Sand Attack, I think, and he kept blinding me. All right, let's recall. Ah, uh, I gotta go heal the rest of my Pokemon because they've been murdered. <laughs> I can't wait for them to add gyms because it's gonna definitely be a lot more interesting. But yeah, like I said, the major issue is roads. Like, look at that. That there is the um, route. And we can barely see that. Like, it's really tricky to see with all the foliage and all that. I was wondering if you could check stuff for, like, different items and stuff. 
That'd be actually pretty neat. There's even Pokemon going around in the city. I love that. Alright, second time's a charm, right? No? Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I tried. But I gotta say, I'm interested in the development of this. It's funny because Sword and Shield comes up in like three more days. Unfortunately, I don't have a Switch, so I can't play it. <laughs> Can I afford a Switch right now? No, no, no. That's literally $300, dude. They're gonna have to donate me a freaking Switch and an Elgato. <laughs> and that's a lot of money. But I would play the hell out of it and record it. I'd be a Pokemon Master. Wait, what's this building over here? This little white building. This is just... This is just an old building sitting here in the middle of the map. Okay, cool. Anyway, back to our grinding. Um, I just found a random zoo bat. I want it. Oh, okay, it's sucking my blood and poisoning me. Okay, cool. Good to know. Alright, didn't see that one coming. Where the hell did this zoo bat even come from, bro? I want it. I've literally just been sitting here training. Come on, kill it. Kill it before it kills you. Damn it, I missed the drive-by. Oh wow, that, okay, that's just an automatic thing that hits you. You can't dodge it. Come on, game. Let, let me hit. Jeez. I'm, I'm not too far. You're just saying I'm too far when I'm not. I'm literally just... Oh, I'm out of mana. That's what it is. <laughs> well, it feels bad. Well, we're still going to catch it. We're going to do it with Eevee. I didn't know we were just that low on energy. Energy cost is gonna be a bitch. There we go. Recall. Okay. Now. See. Catch that bitch. Ah, huh, okay, we got a Zubat. I don't know if it actually ever breaks, or if there's going to be a catcher rate system later on in the game. But right now, it doesn't feel like there is one. So that's a good thing. God, hiccups. But the only thing right now is that my 
Charmander is almost ready to evolve. Well, not evolve, um, get Amber. And Amber should help us deal with most of the tedious enemies that we have to, to deal with. Uh, if only these coins were working, I could change my character. I'm so sad, man. Wait. You have Team Magma, but you don't have Team Aqua? Feels bad, mate. Oh, no. Yes, you do. What? I'm blind. I guess it's just because he's not in the actual suit that I was actually thinking of. I want to be this guy. But I don't have the, the coins, man. Well, guess the world would never know what that looks like in actual game. I haven't seen anybody pick that character, actually. Not actually think about it. I haven't seen anybody use it. I've seen everybody using the gangster, red, blue, and that's basically it. <laughs> Nothing else. Well, some people have been using, um, what is her name again? This character. Let's see more people use this character overall. Is she the one with Garchomp? But my training, it is coming together. Apparently projectiles are really strong in this game. <laughs> it's like projectiles have an extremely low chance of actually missing. <laughs> it's like a, almost a guarantee hit. And I'm guessing my Zubat is going to be pretty damn strong with that lifesteal crap that he had going on. I actually want to see what the hell that was. I didn't even know he was just out there. I thought he would be in the cave or something. Oh, it's Leech Life. That's apparently what he has? No way. Well, I guess we'll find out in a few seconds. Oh, there's another one. I guess it's nighttime is when they show up. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Leech Life. That's what it is. And he hit me from so far away, I just want that to be known. And that crap is doing a lot of damage. He's getting back a lot of HP from that, too. Yeah, look at that. Oh, flying corpse. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so Zubats are actually really strong if they can get that uh, stuff on you. I think the confusion is what was doing all that damage. It has to be. Hello? Oh, there you are. Hey. You're probably going to one-shot me, but... Oh, yeah, you're level 8. I just got a kite. Oh, wow, he has tackle on. Yep. So Taco lasts for at least 30 seconds? Huh? So why would Taco last 30 seconds? Shouldn't it last like at least 10 seconds? I don't know, that just threw me off guard. Now that I actually read like what's going on down there. That speed boost is just actually Taco just being active. <laughs> so I guess... Oh, I guess if you think about it, a Pokemon like TV show way it's kind of different kind of I don't know I I, I can't explain that <laughs> just thinking about a Pokemon being able to follow me anywhere I go kind of a nightmare so nighttime different Pokemon's come out so it has the whole at night spooky Pokemon come out so ghastly and stuff like that will come out at nighttime it's just a whole bunch of common stuff in daylight, a certain other Pokemon would come out. But Zubats are a different story. They're kind of difficult right now. I just need to kill one more Pokemon and we're golden. Now I think I'm going to weaken 
one of the um, Rattas with my Zubat. Then I'm going to finish him off with my um, Charmander and see if there's any XP share or anything. Actually, we can't even look. Yeah, we actually can't look at our Pokemon. Which is kind of weird. Can't actually look at their stats and stuff. Wait, nope. Yeah, we can. Ah, it's the F keys. The F number keys. I don't like using those because that, because my OBS is kind of set up to that. So, you know, <laughs> that, that's kind of troublesome. Can I use the tags in the air? So I could just be an asshole, is what you're basically telling me. Oh yeah, but that eats up my stamina. Totally forgot about that. That's not gonna work, game. Yeah, see? So you gotta run away until you get energy. Let's see, I'm at least try to make him a little bit one shot. I'm not gonna use a uh, Sonic Super Sonic because apparently that does a lot of damage. It does crazy amount of damage. I just need you to level up, buddy. Ah, oh, he actually gains HP back over time. I need him to stop running. Okay, there we go. So I'm guessing there was H HP, XP share. Uh, we need like one more kill. Okay, be right back. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Until at least gets Amber. Okay. So there is no XP share in this game. So switching out Pokemon in the middle of battle, the one who kills actually gets that XP. Unless, I guess, you have an item XP share. But, yeah. As you see there, and here. There's been no XP added. But there is the friendship system, so... Yeah, that's already good. Now you see their stats, their regen rate, and stuff like that. As long as they're alive, that is. <laughs> so I just wanted to let that be known. Back to my grinding. Okay, I think I have some kind of conclusion here when it comes to this strategy. I think the amount of HP you gain from that Pokemon is based on how much HP you're taking out of it. That's at least my thought right now. Because I just got 6 H XP for fighting a level 8, and normally that gives me a little bit more. But... Hold on. Let's see how much we get from like this level eight. And then I wanna use my Zubat to go kill another Pokemon. Okay, come on. One more. Just, just one more hit. Let me hit you with that. Okay. So now we're gonna recall. this way? Jeez, he's so far away. I didn't even know I chased him that far. Yeah, he's regenerating a little bit, too. I'm gonna need him to quit running away, though. My legs are too small. Okay, there he goes. He's gonna be in the tackle. Um, okay, I was about to say, when is the sack going to wear off? Okay, nah, it's... I don't think... Well, it's kind of hidden. Yeah, I think it's based on HP. Okay, should they get the, um, skill now? 
Okay, yeah, now it has amber. There we go. You just have to re-throw him out. Noted. Okay, so now our Charmander can put up a better fight and just have long range attacks to where he does, doesn't does have to go near the Pokemon. So long range attacks are just straight up abuse of this game. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's this one that's right here? Apparently there's a Pokemon right in front of me. I think he's inside the ground. Oh, no, there he is. Okay, so we got 13 on that kill. So what happens if we take a full HP bar? This was level... Level 7. You guys remember we hit him... We had to take down, like, 60 HP? I wonder what happens when you do, like, a full battle. We got 13 XP for our, the level 8. For Charmander. This is just a theory. I'm just trying to see if it's actually true. Is it HP based? Okay, whichever attack comes back, he's dead. I know there's no basic attacks or anything like that, it's just straight up skills. Okay, yeah, it is XP based. So whoever does the most progress on the enemy's HP. Okay. So yeah, you you definitely have to kill them full HP just to get the maximum XP you can get from just attacking that one. Alright, good thing I actually uh, looked at that. We proved it out. Oh. Hi. Buddy. I didn't even know you were right there. And the yellow number is under there is apparently your goat. Um. Okay. Amber's kind of weird. <laughs> so I guess you have to be right up on him. Oh, it's a DPS move. Oh my god. It's basically flamethrower. Okay, noted. <laughs> I don't care about Butterfree though. Hey, Wormple. Catch my fade. Come here. <laughs> well, catch these fire bars. Yeah, these. Catch my mixtape. Basically, who I'm trying to say. <laughs> Come here. Don't you run from me. Oh, yeah. Dodge, sucker. Ring around the rosy, bitch. Alright. Trainer. Come here. Catch this guy. Since we only have one more Pokeball, uh, the Pokeballs we had to go buy. If I push T, I can get how much gold we have. Wait, is it each time your Pokemon dies, you lose gold? Oh, you can't capture stuff with your team full? Okay, so you can't send things to your PC. You literally have to have an empty slot. Wow. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. That is definitely kind of a questionable thing. That's for sure. So I can't even catch this guy even if I do have a Pokeball. And I do have a Pokeball in my bag. As you can see there. So I can't even do that. That sucks. That's kind of a letdown for me. But I guess in the actual Pokemon that Ash already had like five Pokemon just to catch something else. But then again, wait, hasn't Ash catched more than six before? Okay, now now I'm kind of questioning and wanting to go back and watch Pokemon at, at the moment. Oh, wow. Look who, look who can use Harden, dude. <laughs> yeah, nice try, scumbag. Too bad I'm a fire type and I do way more damage to you guys. You guys are literally my grinding paradise right now. My legs are so little that I am really slower than my trainer walking. Like, if you guys haven't noticed, the movement speeds between Pokemon and your character is absurdly noticeable. Oh wow, he just one-shotted me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay, we're going the wrong way. We're just going to keep on our journey. I at least want to get to the next route before I end off. But this was actually an interesting ep episode. I'm actually gathering a lot of information of where they're going to take the game. 
So you can actually go out into the forest too. So there, there could be like secrets out here. You never know. There could be like legendaries just sitting out here in the bushes. Basically, you find like a random cave somewhere. I've seen a lot of people with dragon knights and just giratinis. Especially when you go back to like the main hub. Well, the home button. Where you get your starters. What's this? Who are you? You're in this grass and now you're moving. Where are you going? Oh, it's just a worm. <laughs> Weedle. Okay, something I just noticed. You can rename your Pokemon if you want to. So that's actually pretty good too. I like that. But I wish you can at least teleport or send one of your Pokemon that are currently inside your party to your PC but not be able to take it out you know just transport them there but not you know withdraw Pokemon from like outside or at least replace something like that for either that or they're just trying to literally keep it true to Pokemon like I was saying but either way it goes, it's going to be interesting. Oh, there's... Oh, rocks. Let's say, is that a whole mountain I can explore? Probably not. Probably just has some border or me falling off the map. Good thing we have a safe button to where we can just teleport back onto the map if we actually do. Oh, wow. Okay, that that's random. That just literally popped up out of nowhere. Can we uh, talk about that? But yeah... Uh, the torture of this is going to be running back to my points if they do send me back to the default area every time I log in. That's going to be quite problematic, especially with no, like, faster transportation. I don't have a bike or anything, and I'm also not getting any routes, or it's not telling me any routes that I'm on, which is very odd to me. But I think there's probably new Pokemon here. Oh, there's a, there's one in front of me right here. Oh no, just Zubat. <laughs> but yeah, apparently I, I've been on this journey for a while, probably like 20 minutes now, running through. Oh, there's houses over there. Ah, oh, okay, I guess this is where it's taking us. I don't know what this place is, but we're gonna go find out. Hopefully they got, like, a Pokemon Center there. That's literally where the route's taking me. I can kind of see it. What town is this? So I wonder will they add, like, a story and progression and just, like, little mini quests to the game. They give you, like, more coins. I guess it would be weird if they gave XP to your Pokemon. Well, they can always go down the route of uh, leveling up your actual trainer. I'm not sure what your trainer would do with those levels, but you know. Oh! I think I actually remember this town. The name definitely sounds familiar. There is a center. There's quite a few people here. I wish that wherever you saved was your um, checkpoint of where you begin again. That'd be pretty neat. But yeah, we also gotta go search these houses next video. But oh, somebody murdered that poor thing. Is this another rock gym? It looks like another rock gym. Ah, oh, frames. I keep telling you, game, it's not gonna work. Told you. Ah, oh, is that Brock? Never mind, maybe there will be a battle. Oh, never mind. That was bad, mate. Oh, mate, hold up. Hold up. No? Ah. Oh. I thought he would throw his if I threw out mine. You know, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. No? Okay. Th thanks for at least, you know, hum humoring me. 
Brock, I love you. <laughs> Goodbye. So many- wait, hold on a second, what- what's this? We're gonna check this first before we end off. I- I know, I know, okay? Calm down. I'm just curious about big- bigger buildings and what the hell they are. But yeah, this is Brock's hometown, huh? Now I think about it. The second city, is this like Sapphire route kind of? No, that's kind of mixed in with Sapphire. Cause I know the starting town is kind of like Sapphire in a way. God. Which games was Pallet Town in actually, now that I think about it. I'm this old and I can't remember all that. Well, that's probably why, it's just cause I'm old. <laughs> Okay, so you can't go up the stairs of this, apparently. So this is just a random room. And I'm getting confused with how I'm turning around my camera. Can I at least get some kind of guidance of what this is? So I'm guessing they haven't made the, like, the icons for every last... Uh, oh, apparently I got up here. I how am I going to get down? It's a real question. Wait, wait, can I get... Can I grab that? Hold up. Excuse me? There are Pokeballs in here. Do you not grab these? Hello? Can I not be a Master Thief? What, what happened to that route? Was that canceled? Alright, I'm going to end off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you guys leave another 5 likes, and we'll bring it back up again. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Oh, look, there's another Pokeball. I can't have Okay, I'll just go fuck myself.